driver's licenses for transgendered individuals. With My Town Media News, I'm Bruce Beath. Kansas judge has ruled that the state is not violating transgender residents' rights under the state constitution by refusing to change their driver's licenses to reflect their gender identities. The Kansas law passed last year does not mention driver's licenses or birth certificates, but says for the purposes of any state law or regulation, a person's sex is based on their biological reproductive system identified at birth. It is not clear at this time whether the ruling will be appealed. 2023 Kansas Land Values book is out, and in it, K-State agricultural economist Robin Reed discusses the movement in land value and the percentage of land sold within those counties. Basically, what we saw was an increase on the state level of non-irrigated crop ground about 9%, and then pasture ground about 2% over the book values from 2022. It's interesting to look at how much of the county turned over this year as far as changing hands and land sales. And a lot of the counties, you know, the average, what we knew was kind of two to three percent. And most of the counties are in that range. But we had some counties with very large sales occur. And we have some counties that sold five or six percent of their total ag acres. The Kansas Department of Transportation Aviation Section is looking to improve air ambulance access as part of its improvement program. KDOT is working with air ambulance associations to identify improvements that are needed to many airports. These include minimum runway dimensions, safety features, and weather reporting. Finally, the Kansas State Fair has announced it's bringing musicians from Broadway's Rock of Ages to Hutchinson on Thursday, September 12th. The night will feature original cast members of the smash hit performing monster hits that helped to define the 80s. Tickets go on sale this Friday at 10 a.m. With My Town Media News, I'm Bruce Beef. Hello, everybody. Oh, turn it up. Put your hands up. Yes.